morning, everybody, and happy Wednesday. Um, not only is it Wednesday, it is another special day of the week. Does anybody know what today is? It is, what's this? It's our Earth. Today is Earth Day. And Earth Day is, a, is an event that is celebrated around the world to help support and take care of our Earth. Who lives on Earth? You do. You do too. We all live on planet Earth. And that is why it's so important that we take care of it because this is our home. I'm going to show you and do a little demonstration of what might happen if we stop taking care of our planet. So, let's say you're doing a project and you're done. Should we just throw it on the ground? Nope. Throwing it on the ground is like doing this to our planet. I don't want that anymore either. Oh no, nope, I'm done with that. Ugh, I don't want that anymore. Hmm. Oh yeah, this pin, it doesn't work. So I'm just gonna stick it on there. What happened? Did our earth get littered? There is trash all over our planet. Where should all this stuff go if you're done using it? It should either go in the trash or the recycling. Recycling is very important because those things that we recycle can be turned into something else that we can use. So it's always good to recycle. So what are some things that we can do on Earth Day to celebrate it? Well, you can plant a garden. You can play outside. You can go in for a bike ride. You can um, pick up trash. And oh, when you guys are coloring, should we use one side or both sides of our paper? Both sides of our paper. Because do you know where paper comes from? It comes from trees. So the more paper that we're using, those are trees that are, that are, that are going to waste also. But we need trees. Why do we need trees? Trees give us oxygen and that's what we breathe. Everybody take a deep breath. That's oxygen. That's what we breathe. So, I don't want to litter our planet, so I'm going to take all this stuff off to help keep our planet clean, and I will throw it in the garbage after the video. Okay, so my friends, so we're going to start with a song. We're going to do red, orange, yellow. Okay, you ready? Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. These are the colors of the rainbow. All right, and today I have a story. This story is called The Garden That We Grew. The Garden That We Grew. We're talking about what this week? Gardens, bees, and planting. So, I thought I'd read this one for you guys. that we grew. Do you have a garden at home? I'll have to um, show you something after this video. It's gonna be really cool, my friends. This is the garden that we grow. This is the patch that we'll plant row by row. This is the dirt, warm and brown. These are the seeds we push way down. Why do they push them way down? So they'll grow and they'll get the nutrients that they need. If they're just laying on top of the dirt, they're not gonna get the nutrients from the soil that they need. This is the water we spray on the seeds. These are our hands that pull out the weeds. Oh. Oh, why are they pulling weeds? Aren't they plants? They are plants, but if you have weeds inside of a garden, the weeds will steal all the water from the plants that really need them. Um, let's see, I might have, oops, I put it away. I'll show you guys something. So here are some stages of the plants. 
So it starts as a seed, and then it starts to grow roots, and deeper and deeper, and it starts to grow and grow and grow until it becomes a plant. But what happens is the, um, the plants use these roots, they're like little straws, right? When you drink out of a cup and you have a straw, that straw helps you suck up the water. That's what these roots do. But if there are weeds, the weeds are stealing a lot of the water and the nutrients that these plants need. So if you see weeds in your garden, pull them because then more of the water is gonna be going to the plants and the plants are gonna be growing either flowers or food for you to eat, but they're not gonna be healthy plants if there's weeds in your garden. These are the buds that peek from their beds. Oh, they're starting to grow. These are the flowers that poke out their heads. These are the pumpkins that grow on the vine. Oh, did you notice that? First there were flowers. Oop, wrong way. First there were flowers. And then there were pumpkins. Did you know that? So the flowers, if you see a garden and you see some flowers, those flowers are gonna be turning into either a fruit or a vegetable. These are the summer days filled with sunshine. These are the worms that go here and there. These are the bees that buzz in the air. This is the day we have all waited for. We pick our pumpkins. One, two, three, four. Inside the pumpkins is wet orange goop. This is the way we scoop, scoop, scoop. Oh, what are they making? A jack-o'-lantern, it looks like, or maybe they're gonna cook with it. I don't know, let's see. Oh, this is the pie we made and we munch. These are the cookies we bake by the bunch. Oh, so what did they make? They made a pie. What kind of pie? Pumpkin pie. These are the faces that grin ear to ear. Oh, now what are they making? Now they're making the jack-o'-lanterns. Let's save the seeds to grow pumpkins next year. Hey, is that recycling? So they took all the seeds from the pumpkins and they're gonna save them from next year and they're gonna replant them. And maybe they'll get some more pumpkins. All right, so I have a game that we are going to play. It's called Good Bug. garden there are lots of different kinds of bugs that you will find going all around and some of these bugs are really good and helpful to a garden and some of these bugs are not so good for a garden so if we find some bad bugs in the garden should we hurt them or move them we should move them away right because we don't want to hurt nature so you guys may know some of these bugs and you may not know some of these bugs but we're going to go over them and i'll let you know if they are a good bug or a bad bug all right this first one does anybody know what that is it's a pincher bug raise your hand if you've seen pincher bugs i've seen pincher bugs i've seen lots and lots of pincher bugs so do you think these are a good bug or a bad bug pincher bugs are bad bugs for a garden bad bad bugs they eat lettuce strawberries and flowers so if they're eating the flowers off of the leaves are we going to get any strawberries nope we're not going to get any fruit so they eat the plants and the flowers and the lettuce so we want to move them away from the garden all right what is this a caterpillar raise your hand if you've seen a caterpillar before we've even had some in our classroom do you guys remember and what do they turn into 
they turn into butterflies that's right so these guys are super cute so do you think they are a good bug or a bad bug they are a bad bug for a garden they may be very cute and may turn into something very very beautiful but they are not helpful to a garden they damage and eat the leaves on the plants so if they're eating the leaves the plant can't survive so no caterpillars in a garden you got to move those guys to another a plant or a bush that you're not using for food all right here's another one you may have seen this guy around this is a lace wig a lace wig and do you think these are good bugs or bad bugs for a garden these guys are actually good bugs they are good bugs for a garden because they eat aphids and caterpillars so they will eat these guys so if you have any of these in your garden and you have these the lace wigs will try to eat the caterpillar all right we have let's see we'll do this one. Oh, this is a cool one what's this a beetle this is a beetle it's a ground beetle so do you think this is a good bug or a bad bug for a garden this is a good bug for a garden. When I was first doing this, I actually thought this was going to be a bad bug for a garden, but it's a good one. This bug, garden uh, beetle, eats slugs, snails, and other pests that get in your garden. So those guys are really, really good for your garden. All right, next we have... Ooh. What are these? These are called aphids. These are called aphids. Have you, raise your hand if you've seen aphids before. I've seen lots of aphids. These guys, do you, do you think they're good bugs or bad bugs for a garden? Good bugs? Bad bugs. They are bad bugs for a garden. You do not want these guys in your garden. What they do is they're kind of like the um, the weeds, right? The, the weeds steal the water from, from the ground so the, so the plants can't drink it. Well, aphids suck out all the plant juices from the plant. So that way, is it getting water? It's not getting any kind of nutrients. So they suck it out of the leaves and the stems and out of the roots. So if you see these guys, not good. I've seen these guys on my rose bushes and some of my other fruit, fruit plants that I'm growing. So. But yeah, you want to get rid of those guys and they're kind of hard to move. So, but we'll talk about this next. All right. What is this? Does anybody know? If you guys saw my, uh, my video I did yesterday about my garbage can, you might recognize this fellow. This is turns into this. What is that? It's a ladybug. So this is ladybug larva and this is a ladybug. So like butterflies go through metamorphosis when they start as something and they go into kind of like a cocoon and change into something else. That's like these guys. So this is their ladybug larva. And then they, they, uh, this becomes like a shell and hardens and then they change into a ladybug. So do you think ladybugs are good or bad bugs for a garden? They are excellent for a garden. They are so good for a garden. They eat aphids. They eat these guys. Um, but the babies, they even do more damage. So these guys are very, very good for a garden. Um, so sometimes if you find a ladybug around, it's a, you can t pick it up and you can move it to your garden. Or at the garden store, they sell little baggies of ladybugs and then we can release them into your garden. So that way you wanna keep all these guys out of there because they're gonna steal all the water in your plants and that's not okay. So we want those guys out of there. So good bugs, lace wigs, beetles, ladybugs, bad bugs, pincher bug, caterpillar, and aphids. 
All right, so moving on to the next, ta -da. Um, we have bees. Bees are very important to growing crops. And crops is the food that we eat. So little history on bees. Bees live in colonies and they have a queen bee, they have worker bees, and they have drone bees. And all the worker bees are female and all the drone bee bees are male. And there's only one queen, one queen to rule all the others. Um, so, but they live in something called a hive and they build it with wax in a hexagon shape. Does anybody know what a hexagon is? A hexagon is a shape. It has this many sides. Can you count my fingers? One, two, three, four, five, six. It has six sides and it looks like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. That is a hexagon. And these um, hexagons are what they use to make their hive. So I wanted to show you some real hive and honeycomb. So they use the little hexagon shapes in here are called cells. And they use some of the cells for laying their eggs for babies and others hold honey. So this is a honeycomb. So there are some areas in here you might I think some of these darker areas is where the honey was. And that's so cool, my friends. There was a kid time parent, I believe, that had this in their backyard. And it wasn't safe to keep this in their backyard because there was a swarm of bees. So they were able to safely remove the bees. And this is the honeycomb that was left. And they wanted to share that with us. Isn't that awesome? I love this. So can you see all the little hexagon shapes in there? There's so many shapes, or so many hexagons. So bees are great for our crops because they pollinate. And poll pollinating means is when you take pollen from one flower and you move it to another flower. And this is needed to produce fruit and vegetables. So, um, it's very important. So it helps food grow. So see, these are some of the foods that bees will pollinate to help grow. What is this? An apple. So they help pollinate to produce apples. An onion. Pears. Oranges. What's this? Cauliflower, nice job. And ooh, what's this? Watermelon. Raise your hand if you like watermelon. I love watermelon, it's so good. So without bees, we wouldn't be able to have some of these yummy, delicious foods that we like to eat every day. So protect the bees. If you see them, leave them alone. Um, they're not wanting to hurt you or chase you. We'll just leave the bees, okay? So all you gotta do is stand a little still if there's anyone flying around you. It's okay. All right, my friends. So now we're gonna get started on our packet project. So this is something that you guys got in your in your um, packet and that's in front of the school. So we're gonna do the first one together and I want you guys to do the rest on your own, okay? So I'm gonna pull off these and All right, so in each flower, there is a number and you guys are gonna be the bees pollinating, okay? So we're gonna be moving, we're gonna pretend this is my flower bag. So moving the pollen from this flower bag to the flowers. All right, so e yeah, each flower has a number in it. So what do you think that means? We're gonna be putting that many pollens on that flower. So you need your paper, your cotton balls, and some glue. So what number is this? 
If you want to count also, there are three, there are dots right next to the number three. You can also use those to help you count, okay? So this is, I'm gonna count the dot. One, two, three. So that is the number three. So I'm gonna take out my glue and I'm gonna put it in the middle of the flower. And I'm gonna take, stick on one, two, three. And you just pollinated that flower. So when you are all done with this, you can color it, or it could be even a little fun if you have any watercolors at home. It'd be really cool if you wanted to watercolor the, in the middle of your, um, of your pollinated flower. So that's the project. So I did the first one with you, and I would like you to do the other three on your own. All right? All right, my friends. So we're going to do... one more story oh i'm just gonna share look how cute this little bee is isn't he cute look how fuzzy he is i don't know what kind of bee that is maybe a bumblebee i don't know he's so fuzzy but remember we gotta leave these guys alone they're very important we don't want to hurt them all right this is my story grow flower grow One day, Fran found a flower pot filled with soil. Poking out of the top was a tiny green tip. I will grow this flower, Fran said to Fred. Who do you think Fred is? That's her dog. She took it home. Grow flower, she said, but the tip stayed tiny. I think this flower is hungry, Fran said. So Fran went to the fridge and inside she found some of her, her favorite food. She gave the flower a slice of pizza. The next day Fran gave it a piece of cheeseburger. Then she gave it spaghetti, two chocolate cookies and a large spoonful of strawberry ice cream. Mmm, that does sound delicious, doesn't it? She even gave it one of Fred's juicy bones. Oh, how's Fred feeling? Feeling a little sad, I think he wants his bone. But the flower didn't grow. The tip stayed tiny and Fran got fed up. Silly flower, Fran said, and she threw it out the back door. Hmm. What do you think Fran needs to give it? Yeah, let's find out if you're right. The flower pot fell into the ground and rolled away. The rain fell on it. The wind blew on it. The sun shone on it. Oh, what's happening? And finally, the little green tip grew and grew and grew until one day Fran and Fred went outside to play. When they opened the door, a surprise was waiting. A beautiful flower just for Fran. So what did that flower need? Did it need pizza and spaghetti? No, what does it need? It needs sun, rain, and soil, and wind. The wind helps too. The wind is also great because it helps with the pollination. So not only do the bees help pollinate from flower to flower, the wind will catch pollen off of uh, the flowers and it'll blow through the wind and it'll hopefully land on some other flowers so that way it'll pollinate and things can grow and produce. All right, so now I'm going to do the calendar. Did somebody forget the calendar on Monday? <gasps> Miss Jessica forgot the calendar on Monday. That silly Miss Jessica. All right, so I'm gonna do it today. All right, I'm gonna pull you a little bit closer. 
going for a ride. All right, here we are. Does anybody remember what month it is? It is, say, it with, um, say the letter with me, A, P, R, I, L. It's April. Oh, man, and I almost forgot to change my star again. Oh, silly. Oh, my goodness. There we go. Now I'm up there. It is April. And April showers bring May flowers. Nice job, friends. All right, so we're going to count and see what number day it is today. You guys ready to count with me? All right, let's start with this number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, let's stop there. What two numbers make ten? A one and a zero. Good job. Eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14. Oh, I'm going to stop there. What number is above number 14? Above. Good. Number 7. Good job, friends. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 20 comes next. But is today Monday? Nope, it's not Monday, so we have to keep going. 20, 20. One. Nice job, my friends. What two numbers make 21? A uh, two and a one. Nice job, my friends. Oh, but is it Tuesday? It's not Tuesday. All right. So 21, 22. Nice job, my friends. 22. Two and a two make 22. All right. So is it Monday? Tuesday, Wednesday. It is Wednesday, April 22nd, 2020. All right, I'm gonna look outside and see what kind of weather I have. Let's see, you come with me. I don't know if you can see it. So I see a breeze. I see no clouds. I think it's gonna be a beautiful day for you guys to get outside and play, my friends. So nice out. All right, so should we end with the song? Let's pull one. Let's see what we got. Um, hmm, let's see if I remember this one. It's called It's Raining, It's Pouring. It's raining, it's pouring, the old man is snoring. He went to bed and bumped his head and couldn't get up in the morning. Is that how it goes? Uh oh, I haven't sang that one in a really long time. Um, let's see, it's another one we can do. Oh, here's one. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. We're gonna go faster, ready? Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 merrily life is but a dream. We're gonna slow motion. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. <laughs> nice job, friends. Um, thank you for coming and hanging out with me today. I'm going to pop out of here for a moment and I will see you back at my house. Hi, Kid Time family. I have some super exciting news. About a month ago, I made a, a video about how to plant some garlic, right? So what we did, remember we put it in the glass jar um, with some water and then you put it in the windowsill for about a week. And then after a week, your garlic starts to sprout some roots at the bottom and you get a little bit of a green topper. Well, I wanna show you a month later how the garlic is doing that we planted. I'm so excited, guys. Look at this. This is the one that you helped me plant a month ago. That is so healthy. It's been getting lots of water, lots of sunlight. The other two that I planted in here before, before with you guys, they're not doing too well. I don't know why, but this one is not as tall. I, this was the very first one I ever planted in here. 
Then I had planted another one over here, but it didn't make it. I had to pull it. It wasn't growing. But this one, holy moly, it is healthy and green. And I am so excited. So I'm going to show you the other two that I planted with you guys. I planted these two with um, with you guys after after I did the other one. These are also doing really, really well. I don't know what it is. Some plants take and some don't, but I am so excited. So um, I'm hoping that I'll do another follow-up video when it's ready to be pulled um, so I can show you guys after. Have a great day, friends.